Let's uh, let's move to the NFL very quickly. The Redskins. Obviously, there is a whole lot going on here. Apparently, the minority owners talked to Daniel Snyder and requested that the name be changed. Uh, Google took all of the Redskins merch off of their search page. So Nike. Uh, yeah, Nike did the same thing. Um, Ben jumped in and said, Howard is better than Bama. Like, maybe as a school. Maybe oh, as a basketball well, as program. A yes, no one's um, going to question that. But, You're talking about a state school in the SEC. Come on, man. Yeah, you, you dead on about that. You dead on <laughs> about that. All right. Uh, so, the Redskins announced on Friday, today, that they would begin a thorough review of the team's name. Uh, it's a potential culmination to years of protest and defiance over a nickname that many Native Americans and other advocates for change consider deeply offensive. So, here's the here's the thing. Daniel Snyder said way back when that he would never change the name of this team. Never. You got to be real careful with the word never. You just Oh, you absolutely do. You but just, he he told that, this reporter making definitive proclamations for the end of time. I am uncertain of many many things. There is a there is a article that Daniel Snyder keeps in his pocket. And while he always says that he will never change the team name, the reason he keeps this article with him all the time is, I think it was 2013, when they polled Native Americans on whether or not the term Redskins was offensive as a team name. And over 90% of those that were polled said, no, it was not offensive. Yeah, That's what he is clinging to for dear life. Now, I'm really curious what they're going to do. Now, obviously, as long as there's a TV contract, as long as the NFL doesn't make them do anything, he's going to be profitable regardless of how many financial people decide to pull out, whether the uh, whether FedEx decides to pull out, whether Nike decides to pull out, whether, you know, all of this different stuff. If... If he doesn't want to change it, if it's a mental thing with him and he doesn't want to change it, then he's not going to. This is up to one person. So I'm very curious about this, you know, review that they're going to go through. I I wonder if it's all a show or if we're actually going to see this happen because and and there are other reports that say that this could end up happening before the 2020 season. Yep. So Give me your thoughts here. Obviously, our buddies in the Westlot Pirates think uh, that the term "red tails." Nope. Or so, yeah, it, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you. So I'll let you it. talk. So, so my first thought about the article is, I'd I'd be very the pointing back to an old article where these people were polled reminds me a whole lot of the governor of Mississippi saying, yes. "Well, we voted on it in the past, and it was voted to keep it." Well. When we voted on it in the past, yes, that was in the past. Also, and things change. many of people were offended by it, okay? So keeping it hurt people and made people upset and uncomfortable. Changing it hurts no one, all right? And and so that's that's kind of my my stance on it. Um I I don't I don't want to try to speak for the Native American people. I have no earthly idea how they really feel about it. <clears throat> we do have a problem in our country where a lot of folks try to create victims out of people that don't see themselves as a victim. We like to get offended on others' behalfs if this is something that is a problem with the Native American community and needs to be changed. Yes. Agreed. So it was pointed out by our buddies at Westlaw. I don't remember if it was John or Scuzz, but – the the red tails idea, which the red tails were the um, what 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 who did they I'm, fight? I'm they trying were, to think. Some, I'm trying what? to think. It was the the African American uh, oh, Tuskegee Airmen. Yeah, the Tuskegee Airmen. What they were called? That's it. Yep. That's it. Okay. Yep. So they had the same. Literally, they use this color scheme on their planes, which is a burgundy maroon type color with a yellow. They were called the red tails. I think it's an easy, unbelievable, smooth transition transaction to, to make. We've seen some mock-ups of some really cool logos and what they would look like. You're, you're in D.C. You're going to make it a military, you know, patriot 
yeah, patriotic kind of thing. You get to keep your same color scheme that your fans have put all over them forever. Um, it's not a massive change of transaction for people, transition for people. And, uh, and I think it works if they make the change. That's what, that, that's the only answer I've got. If they go to the senators or something else political because they're in DC, it's going to piss me off and I'm yeah. not going to be a fan of that. Um, but this is one answer I'm, I'm good with. I have also seen the idea of, can they go the, the warrior route and just use a spear, which they already have a logo where it's just a spear and call them warriors. Therefore it's, it's not necessarily native Americans. A warrior can be any type of battle guy. And, uh, and, and could they get, get away with it and go that route? I wouldn't be opposed to either. I love the red tail idea. Once yeah. I heard it, once I looked into it and, 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 and looked it up, I was crazy all in on that idea. Um, and, and thought this is something I would, I would actually like to see. Yeah. I mean, it's an easy transit, red tails, red skins. It's very similar. It, color schemes, the same color schemes was the same. Yes. Yeah. I, I like that a lot. Uh, Damien said, so since Washington is changing the Redskins name, should the Cleveland Indians and the Patriots change their name too? Um, why would the Patriots change? Their I, name? I don't know why the Patriots would change their name, but, uh, but the Cleveland Indians, and then you've got the Kansas city chiefs yeah, and the chiefs et cetera, et cetera. And the right? So I, I'll tell you my opinion. Now, once again, I am not speaking for the native American community. I don't know. I don't know how they feel. The Indian community, they I've heard podcasts where people come and it's okay to call them Indians. Like they accept that word. Um, and I don't believe chiefs is, is offensive either. Huh? I don't believe chiefs or Indians well, no, is I don't, offensive. I don't, but I don't believe that the chiefs are, is an offensive name. That's, that's just a, that's just a person in the native American community. Right. But it's the, not offensive. but the Redskins, however, that is the Redskins was uh, a slur. At yeah. It was a derogatory term. The yeah. name Indian is not, is not a, I mean that that would be like the Irish, okay? It's yeah. just a it's just a group of people as their mascot. Now, Chief Wahoo was very racist. They have done away with Chief Wahoo. I'm a, I completely agree with that. 100% needed to go. But I don't know that the name Indians needs to go. I mean that would be no different than like I said, the the Irish or the Vikings. Like that was just a group of people. Yeah. And, and we have groups right. of people that make up mascots all the time. Uh, ben said, I hope it's not a bad change like the bullets to the wizards. No, yeah. that's that. I, I will tell you that if they, I've seen some other things thrown out um, that I just loathe. I just hate, like I said, if they go to the senators or something like, I'm just going to be mad. I, that, I can't tell if Damien is trying to mess with us or not. He said the Patriots should change the name because they represent the Confederation. No, they don't. They represent the, they were the, they were the Minutemen. They were the ones that, yeah throughout the 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 british that's that's what I, I mean it's in new england like it's those minutemen are not confederates they were they were the founding fathers of our country that threw the british back into the atlantic yeah they were the the founders of america like yeah they i mean yeah they were just yeah they're patriots that that has nothing to do with confederacy yeah that's that's strange that's why i was trying to figure out is he messing with us or is he not i don't know i don't know what that means so either way all right, so so we're we're done with uh, with the Washington NFL team. Let's jump into 